Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, we're going to be configuring MPLS VPNs. Um, specifically, we're going to be configuring a Border Gateway Protocol, or BGP. We're going to be configuring BGP as the routing protocol uh, from the provider edge to the customer edge. Uh, in this diagram here, uh, router 4 and router 3 are at the provider edge and router 6 and router 5 are the customer edge routers. Uh, routers 1 and 2 are in the, uh, the MPLS backbone and we will not be configuring any protocols on them except for uh, MPLS and of course our interior gateway protocol you know, for our service provider. So what we'll do here, we'll get started, and we'll go ahead and configure the IGP uh, for for the service provider. Uh, you can choose any IGP that you want. Um, what we'll do here is we'll just go to router four. And what we'll do here is on router four. What we'll do is we'll just we'll just run EIGRP on the back uh, as the backbone for the uh, provider network. <coughs> so what we'll do is we'll do a show IP interface brief router four. Let's go in, ahead and do router EIGRP process one. Uh, we'll go ahead and enable it on a fast Ethernet interface. So network is going to be 192.168.14.4 all zeros and we'll also do it for the loopback we're going to be using the loopback for the MPLS uh, once we get the label distribution protocol set up for MPLS we'll use the uh, loopbacks for the router IDs So we'll go now to router three. Go ahead and configure router three here. Do a show, uh, do show IP interface brief. We'll do uh, router EIGRP one. We'll go network 192.168.23.3. And here we're just specifying the 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 host mask. Basically, any it's got to match uh, that IP address specifically to be put into the uh, EIGRP routing protocol. Okay, so now that I have routers two and f I'm sorry, three and four, let's go and do the the backbones of router two. So we'll do a show IP interface brief on router two. So we're going to put both fast Ethernets into the, well actually all these interfaces we'll put into the EIGRP uh, routing protocol for the service provider. Okay, so router two is done. One more router, and then we'll go ahead and uh, just verify uh, that we have full reachability within our EIGRP uh, routing domain, and then we'll go ahead and uh, start on the MPLS configuration, and then we'll finish off with the MPLS VPNs, create the VRFs, and enable BGP on the router. Uh, I'm sorry, enable. BGP on the customer edge and then enable BGP on the provider edge routers. Okay, so on router one, if we do a do show IP interface brief, we're going to go ahead and put all of these into EIGRP. We'll go ahead and do 192.168.14.1. And 192.168.12.1. Go ahead and put our 
loop back in there as well. And now that should be it. So now if I go to router 4, here's how it looks. Um, if we're looking at our IGP within our service provider network, which is uh, router 1, 2, 3, and 4, our service provider routers, uh, we just enabled EIGRP on this link here between router 4 and router 1, EIGRP from router 1 to router 2, and then EIGRP from router 2 to router 3. And then we also put the loopbacks into the process. Okay, so now what we should see now is from router 1, we should be able to see router 3's loop back. So if I go ahead and do a ping to the loop back, you can see that we have uh, full IP reachability all the way across the, I'm sorry, why am I pinging the, let's ping the 3 network. So there you see we have full IP reachability across the network. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and enable MPLS and then we'll go from there.